Welcome to The Sound, KQAL-FM's weekly behind-the-scenes look at Minnesota-made music. From writing and recording to distribution and promotion, The Sound is your source for new releases and exclusive interviews from Minnesota artists. Support for The Sound is made possible by a grant from the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Rolling. I want you to know your love. Today on The Sound, we check out For the Beauty, the latest release from Minnesota singer-songwriter Elisa Berry. We'll hear some tunes off her latest EP as Elisa discusses her development as a musician, her inspirations, and her plans for her next album. Here's KQAL's Willard Height with Elisa Berry on The Sound. Beauty by Elisa Berry off her latest release of the same name here on 89.5 KQAL. There's three tunes on that project. Uh, we'll be hearing them as the show goes on, but I am joined by the artist herself, Elisa Berry. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's just an honor to be on your show. Oh, well, we're glad you're here. Tell me a little bit about uh, that song we just heard from you, For the Beauty. Uh, what, what's the inspiration behind that one? So we went camping uh, last fall and we went up to the upper peninsula in Michigan and I was just sitting around the fire with my guitar and and I had challenged myself to write a song a day during our vacation and I was just kind of asking myself the question why am I even doing this like does it even matter and you know I'm just writing song after song and right and um, it just kind of came to me that it was for the beauty that that beauty is worth something and that um, I don't really need to care what other people think or about the audience. You know, it's, it's just something that's kind of flowing. It's, it's kind of meant to flow up and out of me. And I think all, out of all of us, each of us has some way that we express beauty and it's worth something and it changes, it changes the atmosphere around us. So that was kind of, that song just kind of, wrote itself <laughs> yeah sure well i i think that's a great message um the the bigger project that is a part of for the beauty uh is that your first official release as a musician yes it is it's an ep that i recorded uh late last fall and it has three songs on it for the beauty your love and sunshine wonderful well we'll definitely get a chance uh over the course of the show to be to listen to all of those. Tell, tell me how you got your start in music. Uh, growing up, my my dad was musical, and I think he, I think he was the one who probably inspired me the most. I remember sitting in the living room and him playing his guitar with his face to the wall, and he would play hymns, which I never really got into hymns, but um, I really was struck by how he would just sit there and play them, and he would weep. You know, and yeah. he would maybe maybe sing for like an hour or whatever. And um, so later, but he, I don't think he ever wrote, he would write poems and stuff, but he never wrote songs. But in my early te- teens, I started 
I, I started writing some songs, and I didn't really know anyone else who was doing it. And uh, so I, I tried a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't know that it was possible to improve at the, at the art of songwriting. <laughs> so, so I didn't really do a whole lot with it. And, you know, then I got older and I got married and I started having kids and, and then my kids were babies and I could do nothing more than take care of them. And then, and then all of a sudden something happened and, and my kids actually were able to be a little more independent, which was amazing. Yeah. And, and I started thinking, okay, what, what, is, you know, what, what am I good at? What, what do I want to do with my, is there something I can do that's kind of just a part of me, you know? And, and so I, I discovered that I could actually, I don't know even like what made me think about it, but all of a sudden it just dawned on me one day, you know, this whole songwriting thing, like it's, it's still really a part of me, but I'm not very good at it. And, and all of a sudden it just dawned on me, I could actually get better at this. <laughs> this was in, this was in 2017. So I started taking some voice lessons and, and then that led me to take some songwriting classes. And I just realized that I don't know. I just realized, like, this is what I'm made for. I want to do this. I want to get better at this. And, yeah. and so I started um, going to some open mics at, at a restaurant near, B, near me, Poor Wine Bar and Bistro in Otsego, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, just that, that really helped me to be around encouraging people and, be, and challenge myself to continue writing more and then start performing those songs. So... Yeah, really, really interesting. Um, now, now I understand that there's a Kickstarter campaign uh, co- coming up here. It's for your next album, Rainbows. Is that right? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I'm I'm super excited about this Kickstarter. It it'll run the entire month of March, and it, the purpose of it is to is to um, fund the creation of my my next album which will be a full a full length album called rainbows and so it's just a way for uh for making that happen i do have a team that is going to be helping me with that on the technical side tim cheesebrow he's uh he's an artist himself but he also helped me be the producer as well and he helped me produce my ep last fall for the beauty and he's going to be helping me again with rainbows and so and there's some other musicians also that i ha- i'm going to have on my team so i'm looking for a team to help me uh to just be a part of i like to call them my rainbows team <laughs> <laughs> to make this happen and you know there's a lot of costs that you don't really think about you know if you're not uh i didn't i didn't realize that there were so many costs to recording music but i i I believe I have something that's worth sharing and I really want to get it out there and I'm really excited to make that happen and I, I think that uh, my Rainbow team and I, I think we can do this. So. Yeah, yeah. No, well, we, we really look forward to hearing uh, the, the, the from the Rainbow's team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's take a moment. I want to uh, play another tune from the, again, that latest release for the beauty. Uh, this one, this next one we're going to play is Sunshine. Can you tell me a little bit about the story behind that? About five years ago, we, my husband and I, we adopted a little boy who was five at the time, and um, he had been, you know, he'd, he'd been through quite a bit by that age, and quite a bit of, you know, difficulty in his short little life, and, you know, he, he brought some of that baggage with him, as you would expect, and... So there was quite a long season there for a few years where it was just really, really challenging for our family. And um, and so I felt under it a lot. I really felt like just under the weight of all of this, uh, under the weight of the, of the grief, you know, that he had experienced and still was. And, um, and so I kind of wrote this song all of a sudden, one day it just dawned on me again, and I think it—I think it's honestly—I think it's God just like gave me this 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 little bit of a, a picture of what it might look like above the clouds, because um, I felt like it was just under these dark clouds, and and just that, you know, above those dark clouds, there's a beautiful sun, and it's still shining, and so as I 
started thinking about that truth and thinking about that, okay, everything is going to be okay. I'm not going to come into agreement with all these dark, hopeless thoughts. I'm going to start training myself to think a different way. And that's where the first line of the song came. Truth is beautiful like spring, washing away the cynic in me. And so I guess this song is about my little guy, and I just want to be a really hopeful person, and Mm -hmm. I don't want to be cynical. And, yeah, I think, like, once you you put yourself on the path to to heading in that direction, like, you you just get a lot more hope. You mentioned... uh... So sort of, sort of the scene of this of this song Sunshine about you know rising above the clouds and, and seeing the sunshine uh, you, you said that you felt that sort of in a way came from God is that right? Yeah Is that something is that sort of inspiration is that something you find yourself experiencing often? Yeah, I would say the answer is yes I I'm a person who loves prayer and you'll hear that in my song. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm a religious person, but I am someone who, I'm a very spiritual person, and I love to pray, and so you'll, you'll, you can hear, sort of hear that in my music, because it's just a part of who I am, and honestly, like, you know, that prayer has really been what has got me through a lot of the tough times that I've experienced, so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's, let's go ahead and hear that song, Sunshine. It's by Elisa Berry off her latest release, For the Beauty, here on 89.5 KQAL. with Sunshine by Elisa Berry here on 89.5 KQAL. I'm joined uh, over the phone by Elisa. Uh, Elisa, we talked a, bit, a little bit about this uh, before the break, before that song. What what inspires you to write? What and I know it's a pretty broad question, but but what, what inspires <laughs> you? I don't know. I think it's just I, well, part, of a, part of it is I think I, I feel my emotions very deeply. I've been told that I feel my emotions viscerally. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a deep feeler, and I really like, I mean, I know it's possible, and I've done this too. You can write a song about anything. It doesn't have to be. You could just, some people think that you can only write uh, songs if you are inspired. That's totally not true. Like, as long as you have the tools and you have the, the desire, you can sit down and write a song in five minutes, and it doesn't have to be about any deep subject. And I do do that as a way to train myself, but what I really love to do is I love to capture the emotion that I'm feeling or if it's something that, if it's like a deep truth that I really want to become a part of me, like like that song, Sunshine, like I I really wanted to become a person of hope, a person of of truth, you know, like that I'm not just living in like this hopeless (laughs) 
yeah. darkness and stuff. So, so anyway, so, um, so I, I would have to say that, that, that usually I'm inspired by things that I'm learning or deep truths that I'm learning or, um, deep emotions that I'm feeling. Sure. Sure. So I don't know. I, I like, I think, I think a lot of the artists write that way. In, in in your bio, and you talked about this a little bit earlier, that um, there there was a point where you started uh, kind of kind of recently, like in that 20 te- 2018 area, where you really sort of jumped into songwriting. You started getting more involved with the music community, um, and you started taking some classes. Does did those things enable you to sort of get to the creative state that you just mentioned? Totally. I was so encouraged. Uh, I started going, I think I mentioned that in 2018, early 2018, I started, I was just like, I don't know where to start. I don't know, like, where are the songwriters here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Are there other people like me? And so I started attending a, an open mic almost weekly in, in Otsego, Minnesota at Poor Wine Bar and Bistro. And mm-hmm. they just have a great community of artists there that, that, like, we go and we listen to each other and we encourage one another. And I just felt so empowered by them. Like, I, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten up and just totally bombed it and not in a good way. <laughs> like, just like, and then I come down and they're like, no, it's, it's all good, you know. And then also uh, one of my uh, women who has become a, a, a sweet friend to me, even though I don't see her a whole lot, her name is Dana Cohen, and she is, um, she is a singer from Elk River, um, she plays quite a bit, and she has a she has quite a bit of music out. Mm-hmm. But she had been doing a song a week uh, challenge, and so I was like, "Oh, a song a week! I can do that." Yeah. And so I started writing a song a week, and uh, and then taking my songs, which I barely could even play, because I like I'm the kind of person I can't even like remember if I write a song, I have to have it in front of me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll someday I'll get to the point where I have them all memorized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, so anyway, I barely even play the song and then go sing it at the open mic. <laughs> but uh, and then I've also uh, joined the CMA, Country Music Association, Midwest CMA, and I've been getting you know to know some people through that. And then uh, my my friend and my producer Tim Cheesebrow has also been a huge encouragement to me. Sure. And um, and then oh, I want to mention one more thing. I have attended some songwriting classes with the Minnesota Association of Songwriters, and they are just wonderful. Like those songwriting classes, my friend Chad he teaches them, and he's just an amazing teacher. If you, if if anyone out there wants to learn songwriting, go to those classes. Like I have gotten so much out of that. And I've ended up, uh, my friend Chad and I, and Joshua, uh, another friend, uh, we recorded a song. We recorded another song uh, just recently. It's not up on the platforms yet, but definitely have found huge encouragement through those relationships. Sure, sure. Well, Let's go ahead and play another song off your uh, release for the beauty. Here is Your Loved by Elisa Berry on 89.5 KQAL. I want you to know your love, your love. I want you to see your worth so much more than what you thought. you 
was You're Loved by Elisa Berry here on 895 KQAL. I'm joined over the phone by Elisa. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So I'm, I'm curious about this, this latest EP uh, for The Beauty. Tell me about the recording process for that. Where, where was that recorded? That was recorded in St. Paul with my producer and my now friend, Tim Cheesebrow, who is also an artist. You can check out his music. He just ha- he just released an album, and it's awesome. Um, and I actually did did some harmonies on that album as well. So um, if I can remember, let's see. It's called what's the name of the album? I can't believe I can't. Remember. I think it's like Through the Dark. Okay. Sorry, Tim. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just look up Tim Cheese route. Anyway, um, that I was a little nervous going into it because I've never done something like that before. Sure. And I I ended up hearing about Tim through my voice teacher, and she was like, I think you'd really like him. He's, you know, really down to earth, and he's going to be honest with you and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I I was like, okay, if she, if she thinks he's good, I'm just going to, like, go there and, and meet him and stuff. And I just felt really comfortable with him. He is, like she said, he, he's really down to earth. He's really, he has a lot of integrity and really kind. And I, I sort of felt like he was my brother. I have a, I have a brother that um, is just slightly younger than me. And we used to like, we used to do music when we were younger and we just sit there and jam and, and stuff like that. And it didn't matter if we messed up or goofed off. It was just like fun, you know? Yeah. And uh, so when I was sitting, when I was sitting next, to Tim recording this, uh, that's how I felt. I just felt like totally comfortable. And so it was a great experience. And we kind of did it with the, the bare bones minimum just for budget purposes. And uh, I, I decided to release it free of charge so that, uh, you know, just it, it was kind of an education for me, but then also for people to kind of hear my music in the direction I'm headed. And then uh, with this Kickstarter that's coming up, I'm what I would like to do is, you know, use this next album to help fund future projects. You mentioned this producer Tim. Um, are you are you returning to work with him for for this next uh, Rainbows album with the the, the Rainbow team? Yes, yeah, with my Rainbow team. Yes, that is the plan. I'm gonna be working with him. I also have some other musicians actually on on my on my. For the Beauty EP, the drums on there are Mike Arturi from I don't know if, uh, from the Love and Spoonful, the drummer. Mm-hmm. So those are those drums are by him, and then so he'll be helping me out again this next time. And then I have a few other musicians, uh, local musicians that I'm excited to work with: John Wright on the bass, Dan Neal on the guitar, and a few others. Because this this on the EP that I did, I, like, Tim and I, we did everything, and, and we're okay, you know, it's good, but, you know, I'm not the most amazing piano mm-hmm. player, I, I just like to write music and sing. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. D- Distribution-wise, you, you mentioned that this last, uh, uh, For the Beauty uh, project was released free of charge. Do you find that might be a better route in this day of age versus some of the more traditional avenues of distribution? Uh you, you say say streaming or uh, any of the other avenues that people are using these days. I don't know for sure. I'm still figuring all this out as I go. This is kind of new to me, so I'm open to advice if anyone has. Advice. <laughs> but this is I definitely felt like okay, I was not going to charge for that first album because it's just you know it's my first one and um, and it was done it was done as demo as a demo, you know, so. So I'm looking, I'm definitely interested in looking for ways to fund the creation of future albums because I just, I I know it's not going to be going away for me. I have this, you know, bug that I have to write songs and, and then I think there's something inside of all of us. Like when we make something beautiful, we want to be able to share it. It's just part of, you know, it's just part of who we are. I just like, I I want to share it. And I know not everyone's going to like my music, and that's totally fine, but somebody will, and I know I like it, so. Mm-hmm. So the next tune we're going to play here is Wash Off the Makeup, and you, and you mentioned earlier that you, you had collaborated uh, on this with some fellow musicians and fellow members of the uh, Minnesota uh, Association of Songwriters, Chad, and then another friend, 
uh, Joshua. Joshua, right? Um, do 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 you enjoy collaborating? Do you enjoy that method of uh, songwriting? Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I can't tell you how much fun it was to write that song. I haven't done it a whole lot, and uh, but it was to me it's a real privilege to sit down with someone like Chad because he's such a great songwriter, and actually he has he has his own website. It's chadshankmusic.com and he has a bazillion songs that he's written and so yeah it was just so much fun I went to their apartment and we sat and um, we are like well what should we write about and, and I think Chad just has like a deck of song ideas and I think we if I remember right I think we just picked one of his ideas and we are like okay let's write about this and, and so it ended up being a story about or just a song about uh, this musician who was asking himself, like, what what's left after my 15 minutes are done? Like, after my moment of fame is over, you know, what's, you know, I, I feel like I'm wearing this facade, and, like, is there beauty inside of me? Like, you know, if people really saw me on the inside, what would they think and stuff? So, I, it really, honestly, like, it was, it was kind of like a random choice for, like, even the the chord progression that we chose, we just like Chad just randomly was like, let's try, just try this one. And, but in spite of the randomness of all of that, I, I really felt like I resonated deeply with that song. And I even like, sometimes we'll just sing that song just for fun. Um, I just, I don't know. There's just something about it that's really haunting to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, that was fun. And I know that, Chad and I and Joshua, and Joshua was a big part of it too. He's also really creative, and I know we're going to write more songs together, at least I hope. Chad and Joshua, if you are hearing this, let's do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, do, do you find that element of collaboration helps you to grow as a songwriter? Definitely, because I get kind of stuck in a rut, you know, just with, with, the, with the music, the, like the, the types of melodies that I write, or the chord progressions, or the or even um, some of the topics that I might choose. So it's really refreshing and invigorating to write with others who are good at songwriting because it's just like, you know, it's just like all this freshness and it just makes you want to do more and it makes you get better. So let, let, let's go ahead and hear that tune. Here is Wash Off the Makeup by Elisa Berry, Chad Shank, and Joshua Elder here on 89.5 KQAL. Wash Off the Makeup by Lisa Berry, Chad Shank, and Joshua Elder here on 89.5 KQAL. I'm joined here live over the phone uh, by Elisa. So before we head out here, Elisa, I just want to go over this campaign Kickstarter again. It's for your new album, Rainbows. And is the, the Kickstarter campaign uh, up and running right now, or, or when does it launch? It launches on March 1st, and it runs the entire month of March. And if you're not familiar with the way Kickstarter works, Basically, if you are able to, um, if you're able to raise the funds that you, your goal, if you're able to raise that the total amount of what your goal is, then at the end of the month, you know, you get that money. If not, no money is taken out of anyone's account. 
So, so I'm really pushing to get this going. I'm, I've been working really hard. I'm not really a social media person. I've never liked social media. <laughs> it took like seven years off of social media, but then when I started doing music, I realized I really need to, I need to, you know, to make myself a little more vulnerable and kind of let people in on, on my heart and on what I'm doing. And so, so I've been working, you know, hard with social media and preparing things. And um, this interview is, is a part of that. And I so appreciate you guys having me to just be able to share about what I'm doing and, and about this Kickstarter to, to raise that goal to be able to record the full-length album later this year. Great, great. Um, you mentioned social media earlier. That kind of brings me to my next question here. Uh, where can people learn more about your, your new releases or where you're playing next? What, what would be some good avenues for that? Well, I'm on, I, I have a website, Elisa Bear Music, and on that website, you can link in, you can easily, there's a easy button where you can see my Kickstarter. You can click on that. That'll take you right to my Kickstarter. Since it's not live yet, that's probably the best way to do it. But you can please go on to that button, hit my Kickstarter button, and go to my Kickstarter page, my pre-launch page, and bookmark it so it'll let you know when it's live. And, uh, and then also I'm on Facebook, Elisa Berry Music. And I'm on Instagram as well, and that's kind of that's kind of a good way to follow what I'm doing. Sure. But I, I'm definitely definitely excited and looking to grow my team for the month of March. So if if you listen to my music and you enjoyed it, please pop on over to my website. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well. Thank you so much for joining us, Elisa. Again, her uh, Kickstarter for her new album, Rainbows is up March 1st. We look really we really look forward to seeing uh, uh, what comes next from you. Thanks for joining us, Elisa. Thanks. Thanks again to Elisa Berry for joining us today on The Sound. For more information on Elisa and her music, go to elisaberrymusic.com. For more deep dives into local and regional albums, tune into The Sound every Wednesday night at 6 right here on 89.5 KQAL. I'm Bill Stoneberg, and we've just heard from KQL's Willard Hike with Elisa Berry on The Sound. Thanks for listening to The Sound. The Sound is produced by KQL-FM on the campus of Winona State University. Visit us online at kqal.org. Theme music for The Sound provided by Mike Terrell of Fires of Denmark.